Hey guys, this is Rupesh from Dion.com and a lot of us here, including me, are Android users. Now, there are certain apps, popular apps that we use almost every single day like WhatsApp, YouTube, Gmail, Google Maps, etc. Now, all of these popular apps have certain tricks that not many people are aware of. Well, I've been looking for them and I've discovered some really cool tricks that you are going to love. Also, I'd recommend you to watch this video till the very end, especially the fourth trick that's aimed at women's safety and make sure to share this video. Well, that's out. Let's get started. Also, hit the bell icon if you want to see some more amazing videos. Alarms are a necessity. We all use them, but the usual regular alarm tone does not really do enough to wake us up sometimes, especially in this freezing cold winter. And trust me, I'm dying in this t-shirt. Anyway, how about your favorite music, your favorite track playing as the alarm tone? Well, that would be better, right? So the Stock Clock app on Android has this really cool feature. So here's an alarm. And when I tap on this, you can see the tabs for YouTube Music and Spotify. Well, I use YouTube Music, so I can set Blue Monday, the song from the new Wonder Woman 1984 trailer, as my alarm music. Now you can set any song that you like on Spotify or YouTube Music, so yeah, this is super handy. And yeah, this song is definitely going to wake me up. Look, most phones don't have OIS. Most budget smartphones, mid-ranges, and even flagship phones like the Redmi K20 Pro or the Realme X2 Pro don't come with OIS. They have EIS, and EIS is fine, but it does not really work in 4K videos, and it's not as super stable as we'd like. Now, Google Photos has this really cool, underrated stabilization feature that's been getting better. So here's a video open in Google Photos. Now, I can just hit the edit button, and you get this option to stabilize this video. I can just tap it and Google Photos will stabilize things. Here's a 4K 60fps video shot from the OnePlus 70 which by the way has OIS and EIS. The left is the stock video and the right is the stabilized video with Google Photos. You can see the difference right? Things are way more stable. Here's another example, this time with the K20 Pro which only has EIS. Well yes, the Google Photos stabilization feature is a kind of a hidden gem. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you've seen these pop-ups on websites, right? I mean, I hate this and I'm pretty sure almost everyone hates it. It's just super annoying and there have been times when I've accidentally pressed allow only to really regret it later on. Anyway, not many people know, but there is an option in Google Chrome to block all of these notification pop-ups once and for all. Just open up Chrome, go to settings, here go to the site settings page and here go to notification. Now you can see this notifications toggle, right? Well, just turn off this toggle and that's pretty much it. Say goodbye to those annoying pop-ups and live in peace. This is a lifesaver. By the way, since I'm talking about Chrome, there's this really cool new gesture that I recently learned about. Well, did you know that you can just press this tab switcher button to quickly open a new tab, open an incognito tab or close the current tab? Well, it's super handy. So yeah, thank me in the comments. See, there are a lot of safety concerns when it comes to women traveling in a cab, especially at night and Google is aware of it. And it recently brought out this really cool off-route feature in Google Maps. And you know what? This is an important feature that we should all know about so that we can tell our family and friends. And yeah, enabling it is pretty simple. So when you set foot in a cab, just enter the location you're heading to and you'll see the route like this. Now, see this stay safer option? Well, tap that and enable off-route alerts. After which the feature will alert you if your cab goes off-route by 500 meters. As you can see, there's even an option to share the live trip with your trusted someone. Like I said, this is a feature every woman should be aware of, so make sure to share this video around. Google Assistant's interpreter mode is something everyone should know about. I mean, we have all faced this problem of being in a place where your language isn't spoken, right? Enter the interpreter mode whose new improved version recently arrived on phones. So with the interpreter mode, you can talk to people in unknown languages. So George is here and he does not know English, he does not know Hindi, he does not know shit, but he does know Malayalam and so we can test out the Malayalam with the interpreter mode in Google Assistant. Let's start. Be my Malayalam interpreter. So it's ready. Hi George, how are you? Hi George, Sugamana. Sugamana, I'm going to go. You're going well. That was a mistake, but I got the idea. So what do you think about Google Assistant speaking in Malayalam? Is it good? Google Assistant in Malayalam is good. It's 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 good. It's
there is some mistake. Okay, but I have had enough of you, George. So why don't you just go away? We'll see you later, right? Sherry, but she ain't even in the jolly girl, Madi. And the Kundan and Nimble go back to the Pinade and Nimble come, Sherry. And then I went to like in the sambar. Boiling sambar for something. <laughs> well, I like sambar, but yeah, this kind of works well. <laughs> yeah. WhatsApp is one app that we use numerous times every single day. So how about the ability to get reminders in WhatsApp? Well, that sounds pretty handy, right? Well, you can do that thanks to Any.do, a very popular reminder app. Now, here's how you can set things up. Well, you obviously need the Any.do app for this. And in the Any.do app, go to settings. Here, go to integrations. And here, WhatsApp. Now, just enter your number. And once it's verified, you'll get a WhatsApp message from the Any.do bot. So it's pretty simple now. Send a message and a reminder will be set. Pretty much like this. You can even forward messages from other chats to the any.do chat to create a reminder. And the best part, you will be reminded through a WhatsApp message. Now, this is pretty awesome and seamless, right? Now, you need any.do's premium subscription for this feature, but there's a free trial, so you can try it out. Let's face it, we've all played those stupid games and stupid quizzes on Facebook, especially the ones where you find out your biggest stalker. And in the process of playing these games and quizzes, you've handed over your Facebook data to these apps and services that are not so trustworthy. Well, it's time to take control. Just open up Facebook, go to this last tab, scroll down and go to settings. Here in the security section, open up apps and websites. Now just use this option, logged in with Facebook. Here you should see the apps and websites that you have used with Facebook. Scroll down and whatever apps or websites seem harmful, just go ahead and remove them. You can remove multiple apps and websites, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, this is a good step, but there's a lot more when it comes to third-party app access on both Facebook and Google. And we have a dedicated article on the same, so make sure to check that out. It's super handy. Say you're sending someone an email with your private details, like your bank account details or your Aadhaar card details. Now, you wouldn't want that someone to copy or forward your email, right? Well, there's a way to stop people in Gmail from copying and forwarding an email. It's pretty simple. When you're composing an email, enable the confidential mode from here. Now, as you can see, you can use this to make things even more secure by setting an expiry date and adding an SMS passcode option. Anyway, when you send an email from the confidential mode, the recipient will get the email, but as you can see, they can't copy or forward or even download the email. It's great. So try it out next time you're mailing private details. Well, those are some really cool Android app tricks that I have been using, but I'm sure there are a lot of other cool hacks and tricks that you guys might be aware of. So make sure to comment below like you always do. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, this is our last video of 2019, obviously. So happy new year. Enjoy. From all of us at BWOM Team, enjoy.